This might be the most important video I've ever made in terms of being able to actually change the laptop industry for the better. For 10 years, I've spoken on behalf of repair shops, only to be met with deaf ears due to the complexity and depth of the issues that face our industry. And out of 10 years, I've never seen a product that would have such a positive impact on the future of tech as this one. And I'm willing to risk my entire reputation on it. Because now, I finally have the chance to speak directly to the laptop manufacturers and their shareholders on behalf of the consumer. And instead of problems, I'm bringing the solution. The solution to the liquid damage problem that laptops face is something called Advanced NanoGuard, or ANG for short, made by a company called Act Nano. It's already in 15 million vehicles as well as devices we interact with every day, and it costs $1 for you to apply it in your assembly line. This product is going to make your laptops last longer, and I know that's the last thing a laptop CEO and shareholder wants to hear. But if you do this, you will be the Toyota of laptop manufacturers, forever known as the company that wasn't afraid to take a small short-term loss for the benefit of the consumer, your workers, and the planet. Because what initially started off as a sponsorship outreach has turned into a personal mission to see this product implemented in the industry. That's how much I believe in it. We simply cannot afford to ignore a solution that's so obvious, especially when it's been proven to work, is entirely non-toxic, and is already implemented in millions of devices. And I'm confident this conclusion is the same one you you'll reach by the end of the video. Because watching laptops being waterboarded and submerged for nearly two days straight without turning into bricks goes against every single fiber of my being. And as a computer technician, this is like seeing a fish ride a bike. It's just not supposed to happen. But even more shocking is the only reason your device isn't waterproof is because the manufacturer refuses to spend the single dollar it takes to have this same coating applied during production. A coating that's non-toxic, doesn't affect data signals, temperatures, or the ability to do board work. A coating that's already being used by some of the largest car manufacturers in the world, protecting the most sensitive components in your vehicle whose failure could quite literally kill you. A coating created by a company whose CEO was frustrated with profits being prioritized over human life. They don't care about killing people. They only care about, I can make more parts. There was no way I was going to leave that company, come up with a, an idea and invent something that was also going to kill people. Yeah. Now, why would a laptop manufacturer refuse something as game-changing as this? Well, you'll never guess. Okay, maybe you will. But I'll let the CEO of Act Nano, Taymur Ahmad, say the words we're all thinking. Because it's planned obsolescence. And he got his info straight from the source. I had the opportunity to talk to one of the CEOs of a laptop company. The explanation I got was when somebody spills coffee on their laptop, they blame themselves and they go and buy a new one. And 20% of every quarterly sales for mine is replacement laptops. I would lose that if I did this. That's right, 20% of new device purchases come from an old device being unrepairable or beyond economical repair. And as I've shown many times on this channel, things are getting so unrepairable and so expensive to repair, most shops like mine will probably cease to exist in a few years. Not because lack of demand, but because lack of affordable solutions. This means the manufacturer has a financial incentive to not make their products last. Because big tech loves accidents more than diaper companies. This refusal to make a more durable device not only stifles innovation, it causes a massive amount of e-waste. All for the sake of shareholders earning a bigger short-term profit at your expense. But let's back it up a bit so I can tell you how I found out about Act Nano in the first place. You might remember the video collab I did with my friend Rich Rebuilds when I rescued his iPhone that was exposed to water sports and other unknown substances while he was on vacation. Well, Act Nano saw this too and said, hey, the greatest technician that's ever lived. If that's your real name, what if we told you our product could have prevented that entirely if the manufacturer just paid $1 to have the PCBA spray? Just meet us in our hotel suite during CES and we'll show you firsthand. Now I'm not one to turn down an offer to be educated or have my kidneys stolen. I immediately said, how much? I mean, 
Yes, so while everyone else was busy admiring all the future e-waste and AI slop at the CES Convention Center, I made my way up to the top floor of the Westgate Hotel. Now I get a lot of emails from companies claiming things, but Acnano's ANG caught my attention because they seem to be the only ones with a product designed to save tech from landfills, not contribute to them. So with both kidneys intact and all my valuables locked in a safe, I made my way up to their suite to join the CEO, where he not only gave me a rundown of how he came up with the product, but also, why? And to sum up our meeting for those of you with attention spans that are shorter than me, Tamer spent 20 years in the tech manufacturing industry and saw firsthand how people are literally dying in order for manufacturers to use a toxic gel to waterproof certain chips while leaving others completely exposed, which is like scuba diving with holes in your suit. The device will still die when exposed to water, so these workers are dying for no reason. He knew things didn't have to be this way. But they are this way because it's easier to use the same old product instead of trying to invent something completely new. He saw every competitor using PFAS and fluorine-based products to half-ass this solution that doesn't even work. Meanwhile, it's causing cancer to communities around the entire globe. Whereas ANG simply gets sprayed on, has no curing process, requires no additional setup in the factory, no risk to any human involved in its production, and is already implemented in hundreds of thousands of automobiles, including every single Volvo on the road today, as well as every device you see here. Verifone and Square. This is the machine that comes to you at the a restaurant when you go and Certainly you does. put, yes. I yeah. pass it to somebody else. Yeah, 90%. Um, of the payment systems in the world are either Square or Verifone. Mm -hmm. So, and we're on both of those. But their new goal, and the reason I'm here today, is for ANG to be implemented in every single laptop. It just takes one company to have the balls to sacrifice short-term profits for long-term reputation and consumer brand loyalty, just like Toyota did in the 90s. Let me take you back to 1985. There was a car company named Toyota that made a car that ran 100,000 miles. The American car companies laughed at them and said, we sell them a new car every 50,000 miles. What are you doing? This is the worst strategy we've ever seen. They said, no, we'll build a better car. People will notice that it's a better car. Mm -hmm. They'll buy our car over yours and eventually we will win, but it will take us time to win. Today, Toyota is the largest car company in the world. So there's a Toyota of laptops that is going to make this jump. We think this is a value to the consumer that needs to be brought. It's being hindered by laptop manufacturers that don't want to do the, the thing that will perhaps maybe in the short run lose them some sales, but in the long run will make them win. That's really the reason for this demo today is this is possible. It wasn't possible before. We're here. This is possible. It needs to be done by all laptop manufacturers, hopefully, but there, we, do, we do need to have the first one that the Toyota one. My goal is to spread the word about this to make that happen. Because I can't count how many times I've had someone bring in a water damaged device into my shop only for me to tell them their data is either unrecoverable or will cost a lot of money to be recovered. And I'm not the only one. Louis Rossman built an empire off of water damaged MacBooks, but I know exactly what environmentally focused repair friendly company this would be perfect for, and I think you do too. But all these manufacturers have the same opportunity to adopt ANG into their products. So for all you engineers that are subscribed to me and watch my videos, if you work for one of these major companies, let them know just how easy this W would be. If you're a shareholder of one of these companies, let them know how profitable the long term sales will be once the reputation as being the waterproof laptop manufacturer has been established. And if you're a consumer looking for your next device, ask the manufacturer why they don't offer this already, just to see what excuse they'll try to come up with. Because we should be rewarding companies that are actively trying to make the world a better place. And when I say world, I mean it. With their headquarters right here in Boston, Acnano also has branches all across the world. Guadalajara, Tokyo, Chennai, Munich, Taipei, and Shenzhen to name a few. Logistically, this makes it much easier to work with manufacturers directly without running into language barriers or time zone differences. So, if you have any questions or want to learn more about this, I encourage you to watch my full interview with their CEO by clicking the link below. I do plan on visiting their factory in Boston to see the process firsthand, so please let me know in the comments what questions you'd like me to ask or what things you'd like to see. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright! The level.